very oh. ethereal basement. Oh yeah, no, this is. Uh, oh yeah, you can smell that too. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, some, see it. Some nice evil aesthetics going on. I'm in this really. Place, I'm but really I just liking can't approve it. all of the spooky skeletons and ghosts. Oh no, 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 not at all. Actually, maybe a little bit. Like you know. Yeah. At first, I was reluctant. Then I was a little excited. Now I'm just having the fucking time of my life. Uh, okay, I'm mostly worried for my friend's life. Okay, that's part of the fun. Uh, hey, wait, there's your room over here. What's the point of gambling without some steaks, Marcus? Wait a minute, what the hell is all that? Speaking of which, I could go for a steak. Marcus looks at the uh, chaotic blur of what he can only assume is magical energy. Oh, uh, hmm. hmm. Okay, Marcus? Experts? Well, I obviously know what it is. Let's see if Marcus can figure it out. I'll, I'll function as your tutor for this one. Marcus if you takes help. out his tasting spoon. Okay, okay. Excellent form. Excellent form with the spoon. He scoops out a small small bit of multicolored uh, flashing light and pops it into his mouth. Hmm. Lemon lime. Would you like some? Well, that's a, that's a stupid assessment. I think you've gone a little too far with that, Marcus. Please, you need to, in order to do this properly, and he rolls up her sleeve, you need to get a full arm full of it. She reaches ah. in and grabs a cloud of it. Okay. She inhales deeply through her nose, much of the magic coming in. She pats herself down, uh, much of the smoke dispersing. Okay, yes. Uh, well, I've come to my conclusion. I assume you've come to yours about uh, the source of this magic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's agree to agree on this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Three, shakes... two, one, ghosts. G ghosts, really? Oh, uh, I clearly meant whatever you were going to say. Okay, okay. That's, ghosts are close, it's close, it's good, it's good, I still, I still sort of agree with it, and Ian shakes your hand. Um, zombies. No, not no, zombies. No, ghosts are just, They're just misunderstood. You guys are just a crack team of, uh, uh, what are you? What do, what do you call yourselves? I'm an adventure man. Really, adventure in this day and uh, age? No, really? adventure man, thank an you. An adventure man in this day and age? Really? And really? we're adventurers. Holy hell. I know it's an archaic term, but I just, I appreciate a lot of the connotations that it has. Thanks. Oh, the connotations where everyone just turns up their nose at you and treats you like you're, you're a leper. That's never happened to me. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> you look around the room. This is a pretty nice this room, actually. This is pretty nice. Maybe Cure's under Big Bad. <laughs> Marcus pokes his head under the bed. Here? No. Huh. Oh, wow. Odd. It's it's weird to have a room this nice in such a spooky mansion, you know? It is, isn't Normally it? they go for, like, cobwebs and stuff, and Ian sits down on the bed. Ah, my feet hurt. Don't take a nap now, any Ian. I d really, you people, you take a nap one time on the job, and people are like, oh, don't take a nap right now. Yeah. You take the, I mean, like, it's kind of your thing. Uh-huh, really, that's my thing. Okay, they, whatever. Not, the, make not the biting... Comfy. Not the I'm biting sarcasm? It. The naps? The naps are my thing? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of dulled to the sarcasm. Really? I'm sorry. It doesn't cut that deep anymore. Yeah, uh... <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I've wronged you somehow now. Wow. <laughs> ah, that's a good feeling. That's a very good feeling. <laughs> How magic do these books look to the untrained eye? They look pretty magic. These look pretty magic. Marcus, Seeing as I'm an up-and-coming magic guy, since I knew the answer, I'll take one of these. <laughs> yeah, you grab the magic book. Marcus shifts through um, through a uh, a cabinet full of various items, mm -hmm. equipment, etc. It's mostly utilitarian stuff like hammers, ropes, mm -hmm. nails, hmm. wire. I'll take a hammer. Could use some more rope. Ain't nothing wrong with some wire. Anything and who doesn't need a couple of nails? It's actually quite shocking. You notice a, a small stocked alchemy cabinet. There's oh. oil. There's, well, this cabinet has pretty much anything you could ever ask for when it came to utilitarian needs. Interesting. Marcus takes a couple of the, uh, a couple of the vials and gives them sniffs. Let's see. Water, aqua regia, <laughs> oil, got... and pure ethanol. Here we go. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of nice stuff over here. Yeah, I'm you want gonna... some pure ethanol? Sure. <laughs> and he takes it. And he takes it sniffs from it. Wow, that is nostril destroying. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm gonna suit up here. Gregor, there's stuff. Gregor is deeply entranced by his book. Okay, oh. he's reading. That's He's that's discovering cool. the magic of imagination. That's yeah, nice. right? That's that's very nice. And Ian moves over and starts to rifle through some cabinets. Hey, there's stuff over here too. Yeah, what do you got? Costumes. Really? Yeah, costumes. Lots Such of them. as? Well, most of them appear to be like there. There's there's some wrappings. Oh, uh -huh. Gregor, I think I found the wrappings for our zombie. 
Oh, uh, what? They're the team colors for the joint Honorian tackle ball team between the uh, Lily and the Gold Clans. Marcus rifles through the costumes. I wonder if they have... Ah! They they do! Check it out! The Sparkle Lich! A Sparkle Lich? Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this one. It's okay. happening. You guys gonna... can't stop me. Marcus changes into the Sparkle Lich costume. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, it's like, they're kind of my favorite mythic creature, the Sparkle Lich. Um, well, I'm seeing the costume of, oh, is this a, is this a witch hunter? Man, I wouldn't, this is funny to me. I think I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear a witch hunter's costume. That's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Oh, that's good. We're cut. Co- yeah, we're costuming up. Oh, and instead of that witch hunter hat, uh, I do have this tackle ball helmet that I also think I will wear. <laughs> I'm really on a kick right now. I still want to break things. I still really want to break things. What's up with that? Man. Look, guys, I'm You're a fisherman. <laughs> So you are. It's, hey, what are, so you want to take a look at this book? I don't think I'm pronouncing the names right. You, Gregor, we were suiting up, and you you chose a fisherman. You dressed up as a fisherman. Yeah. He's dressed up as one of the most rare mythical creatures ever. I dressed up as something that is hilarious considering my occupation, and you dressed up as a fisherman. Okay, fine. <laughs> Man, Thank you. <laughs> here would have loved this zombie dog costume. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll grab it for him, and if we meet up with him and he's not a spooky skeleton yet, maybe he can put it on. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the, uh, back in the zombie, uh, <laughs> zombie fight club, Kier lays in a bloodied pulp at the creature's feet. <laughs> Whatever this creature's power it is, it appears to be far, far higher than the inventor's. Oh, he really hurts! Yes. His power has been reinforced. His blood replaced with magical goo. Kier looks up and over. Goo, you say? <laughs> I'm just full of blood. <laughs> He's lying on the ground. Yes. It's only natural that you will not stand a chance against my monster. Three times as strong as a normal man. I've replaced every section of his skeleton with a superior steel frame. Hold on a second. This guy doesn't have a skeleton? <laughs> Kier stands up, wobbling on his feet. You said he doesn't have a skeleton. No skeleton, no. What about, like, a soul? If I killed him, would a ghost come out? No, this is an artificial human. From top to bottom. Created solely for the purposes of combat. Kier rushes forward, grabs the man, and wrestling holds him. (laughs) No skeletons, no ghosts! This is like a dream come true! Something snaps in its arm! <laughs> hold on hold on a second. Three times as strong as a normal man. Yeah, but no skeleton will pop out! Like, do you know what this is like? <laughs> blood sprays across Kier's face. No, wait! This isn't blood! He licks it. This is goo! <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes like jam. And it tastes like jam. There is my jam fix. Another crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't. I don't quite understand. You're just. You don't. The idea of skeletons. That's. That's it. Yep. Really afraid of skeletons. <laughs> he discards the broken body across the ground. So uh, I'm gonna leave now. Uh. Can I? Do I fight you too? Is that uh? Is that uh? What's coming up next? Do we? Do we fight? It's fight time. Kier puts up his fists. Uh, uh no. And I have a. Uh, I have a skeleton. Ooh. Kier shrunks back. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. Um. I don't think I could do that. Uh, man. <sighs> Guess I'll just like try to break out of this place now. <laughs> Kier uh, presses himself up against the door. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. Like. Looks back over his shoulder, explaining to the masked guy, like. Yeah, like we got Gregor. He's uh, he's our like he's our glaive guy, like our glaive glaive expert. But like, you basically made a meat robot and sent it at me. I'm a robot guy. Like, if anyone's gonna kill a robot, there's a click. The door opens. It's gonna be me. Kier waves and walks outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Xanthor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Gregor, you're looking frankly a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. Gregor smiles. He's still in a fisherman costume, yeah. but he has fake Dracula fangs in his mouth. Perfect. perfect. <laughs> it's it's literally perfect. It's like I'm staring at a Dracula right now. <laughs> frankly, Have you I'm met a... any Draculas? No, frankly, I'm a little worried. Are you sure Gregor isn't a Dracula? Uh, um, 
<laughs> Sounds like something a Dracula would say. It kind of does sound like something a Dracula would say. He is really fond of the color red. <laughs> hmm. Well, keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him, yeah. Uh, Gregor, my friend, did you say something about a book that you found? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to hook. Okay, I didn't understand a word of that. I'm just going to take this book <laughs> and give it a bit of a read. Marcus puts it, plops it down on this table and examines it. It is a sordid history of this manor, the town mm. of Yeovall. It's, it's an old book, more than, well, more than 70 years old. It details the, uh, well, intense process of capturing and extracting the very essences of humans, hmm. trying to bind them to this land, trying to make an artifact strong enough to achieve transcendence. The architect of this plan was the spirit folk itself, the one who details this book. The tome is written in an eldritch language that eats away at your sanity. Marcus, thankfully, feels very little of the effects. His eye twitches occasionally, but he just dealt with something far scarier. Skeletons. <laughs> Skeletons. Spooks. <laughs> Marcus is relaying this to uh, Gregor and Inian as he's reading it. That's really interesting kind of okay. messed up i'm thinking it might be a valuable research text so i'm gonna hang on to this so this this guy how how recent are the entries in here like mm. it's rumored that ilverk died in the iconoclasm when um when uh caravia came down and wiped out the place but how uh how recent are these it mark marcus flips to the last page of the book the last entry is dated today <gasps> <sighs> Wow, mm -hmm. good suspense on that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try. Not like I it'd try. be dated tomorrow. No, Gregor. It means. It Never means mind. He was doing stuff earlier. I guess it is. I guess we maybe mean next yesterday because it's like two a.m. now. So. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I either guess way, it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's late. I just you know, you get tired at two a.m. Like I do at least. D yeah. Don't normal people. Maybe yeah. she has a wizard brain clock. I don't know. No, this is this is just normal sleep time. Do you people? When do you people sleep? Do you go to sleep at like Gregor? You strike me as the person who'd go to bed at eight. Oh, I roll a die every day, and then I kind of roll with it. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. No, good pun. Good pun. Um. It wasn't and then I for... wake up thirty minutes later. Wow. Micro sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. I do another sleep, a big sleep. Oh. Okay. That was okay. just the warm up sleep. I wish I could micro sleep. Um, moving it, moving on. This individual, Ilverk. Um, mm -hmm. do you think it's the person who turned Gregor into an owl? Y yes. Oh, Gregor can still turn into an owl, by the way. He can really? still do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look like at this. Will? Or pokes himself with the feather. Holy crap! Howly crap! No. <laughs> no, no, it no, 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 no. It was, uh... That is kind of. Really cool. I bet that could be incredibly useful. Can you, like, fly as that and stuff? No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. He can roll, though. Oh. He can roll, like, really well. I mean, really can't well. you do that, like, as a... Okay, if you say so. That's really neat, Gregor. That's good for you. <laughs> In the same regard, do you think, like... Well, it's rumored that nobody's ever seen Ilverk's face. Um, it's it's weird. Uh, let me see that book again. Indian grabs it. Huh. Okay. All the sacrifices were travelers, right? They were they were people mm. who brought through they were people who were brought through town. This um the villagers out there seem to be uh well, maybe in on it? I'm trying to put things together. You're right, it was all people who aren't from around here. Right. Hmm. What if <laughs> any furrows her brow? What if they had some sort of way to draw in travelers? What if a net? Like no not a net. Marcus, are you are you getting what I'm going at? Uh, are you talking about, uh, Creepy Face? Yeah, what if... Harper, that was it. What if, what if he's been guiding travelers here with the promises of adventure, of, of helping people in your case, of saving people, and then sacrificing, sacrificing them, them when they make it down here? Are you saying... Or even before then. That it's been Kirlos this whole time? What? No. What? No. How would you ever come to that conclusion? Don't you remember Harper, the guy with the sunglasses? Who's yeah, been the guy with the sunglasses. If you keep following that lead, then go. Kirlos is like, hey, let's go. Kirlos is a big softy with a giant crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd never hurt us. He would never hurt us. Never. Well, yeah, maybe. He might hurt me. Uh, I don't know him that well, so. Yeah. <laughs> huh. He's a good guy at heart. Okay. Yeah. Well... 
He'd only hurt you if you deserved it. Okay, you think you think uh, your friends might have been, you know, sacrificed? I hope not. No. No, they've got to be okay. Well, they just Colvin's got definitely okay. Yeah, Colvin's, here's, Colvin's definitely okay. Kier's got to be all right, right? No, Kier would have been destroyed in a split second <laughs> by anything in here. He is a complete weenie. Please stop. <laughs> You're not helping. Zalveta's probably fine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and we're gonna... Oh, I forgot about Zalveta. We're gonna go <laughs> and we're gonna explore the rest of this uh, this creepy fucking mansion and we're gonna find Kier and I'm gonna give him the zombie dog costume and everything's <laughs> gonna be alright. Okay. Where did I leave my fangs? <laughs> oh man, now I look like an idiot. <laughs> you wander it's out okay, into the hallway. Roll On the other side of the, uh, the mist, you see two people waving to you. Hey, it's them! It's them! <gasps> Yes, them! <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God you guys are all right. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, I, I kind of got beat up really bad. I'm a little, little, I got another concussion. So that happened. Ash oh. is going to be mad. I wrestled the meat bot. It was great. That's awesome. Do yeah, you have a dude. skeleton? Dude, no. That's oh not my God, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. I can finally fight at my full strength. Dude, you got to fight a meat bot someday. I'll build one for you. Thanks, buddy. Uh, so we're kind of crazy. Cool costume, by the way. Really cool costumes. Thanks, I got you a zombie dog costume. Oh, how did you- is it like- <laughs> is it like half man, half dog? No. Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> you people are- yeah, okay. Uh, how do you plan on parting the miasma? Anyone? Anyone have any ideas? Parting the what now? Oh, Colvin's here, of course. <laughs> hey, Colvin, can you punch this away? Punch? Why would I punch it? Could you fan it away? Ha! <laughs> I don't think fan is the correct term here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the trick is just finding the exact correct word to get Colvin to do a thing you want him to do. Uh-huh. Could you waft all this away, Colvin? Ha! <sighs> the root of the word waft is tricky. Hey, uh, Colvin, kind of come over here. Okay. <laughs> Colvin, <laughs> Colvin takes a few steps forward. Oh, I'm choking! He swats the, uh... <laughs> 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 ah, disgusting. Some people in their messes, am I right? Yep, totally. <laughs> Marcus watches on as Colvin casually clears the choking magic mi uh, miasma from from the passageway. Ah, gross. Okay, what did you want? I'm over here now. Where did I you jump, get those? I, I, I jump over into Kier's arms. Thank God you're all right, man. <laughs> Kier grabs him. Kier grabs him. Yeah, of course. Also, I I think that shoulder's dislocated, so you're kind of hanging on to a limp arm Oh, right man, now. that must really hurt. Where did you get those costumes? I want one. They're in the room back there. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> okay, I'm getting down. Here's your zombie Here's your, here's your zombie dog costume. Oh, thanks. Perfect. Oh, man. It even came with... Oh, is this a... Uh, it's a little... Uh, it's this like a... a zombie chew toy. Yeah, it's a little zombie chew toy. It's it's kind of like a giant mascot costume. Yeah, it is. Isn't it's it? really weird. This guy, it's got freaky eyes, dude. <laughs> it's like staring into my soul. We never could agree on a mascot for the bar. Maybe this will take. Maybe this will do it. No, I think I think this thing's gonna kill me in my sleep. I'm just gonna kind of cure throws it oh. into the miasma. Yeah, that's okay. uh. All right. Sorry, uh, uh sorry, man. Cure puts a hand on your shoulder. Oh. The, it's it's just like it's sometimes fine. sometimes shit's haunted, dude. Yeah, it's for the best. There's it's, another. There's more costumes back in that room over there. If you want to check them out, I'll hunt down another zombie dog. Maybe one oh, that's yeah. a little less a uh, little less haunted. Cool. Cure, Cure walks back. The zombie dog's uh, weird, lifeless mascot hand starts to uh, starts to reach over the edge of the miasma, <laughs> trying to hold back onto the platform. Uh, let's nope, just nope nope. Let's Marcus just... <laughs> walks over with an in, and they both stomp on its <laughs> stomp on its creepy hands until it falls off. Oh, it's oh, it's grown teeth. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> nah. that's where that's where my fangs went. <laughs> <laughs> Colvin walks back over. He is dressed as the sexiest maid you've seen in your life. Whoa! Uh, oh, uh, Colvin, that's different. I, uh, I Indian size take takes off her tackle. Off him. It takes off her tackle ball helmet. It's like he's just trying to make us all look hideous by comparison. How do you, know? you pull it off so well? I just, I don't, I, uh. Kier walks I back over. He has the body of a mascot and the head of a deer. I couldn't find any more like dog heads, so I had to do with this deer head. Yeah, it gets the job done. It gets the job done, right? It gets I don't, the job the, done. The floppy tongue's a little creepy. Marcus tries to tear his gaze away from sexy maid Colvin. <laughs> 
I just, his I eyes just, just keep finding their way back to him. <laughs> I just can't. And he, uh, the football helmet clatters to the ground. I'm just gonna fuck this. She wanders forward. <laughs> okay, let's go. Maybe next year I'll get a cool costume. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor, wait, Gregor, are you a fucking fisherman? Yeah. That's the high. Oh my god, that's the best. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, split some of your fisherman costume with me. I, I I could like I could use I really upgrade my costume. Here, take this fishing pole. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Kit wraps the fishing wire around the deer's antlers. It dangles across the ground. Gregor Ready is for now dressed that. as a man with worms. <laughs> uh, okay, which way? Which way? Uh well we got God this way. And oh, I'm sorry well, guys for getting God. Get God. Like, yeah, I, I really thought I wouldn't be the one to get God. Yeah, how did you get ungod? Uh, I, like I said, I wrestled the meat pot. I locked a very confused man in a closet. Oh, huh. hey. Zelveta is dressed head to toe as a, uh, a Karavian zombie bowl fighter. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, I guess. <laughs> I fought a werewolf. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. <laughs> fought a meat bot. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Fought a fucking meat robot, guys. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Hey, Colvin, how about we check out what's over here in this room? Huh. Check out or discover? Uh, the second one. Okay. <laughs> Colvin pushes through the mist. Instantly. How the hell does he do that? I just, I don't know. I don't know. You learn not to ask that question with Colvin. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Gregor's learned. Oh man, that, mi that miasma is everywhere. Oh, it's just, it's just everywhere. A man stands with his back turned. Oh. Do you see that over there? I do. It's, it's, what's his face? It's the, I don't know his name. His name's But yeah, I know what you're talking he's, about. He seems to to an owl. Yeah, what? He's, no, not you. He's really, he seems to be distracted. Oh. Like, huddle up, guys, huddle up. Oh, yeah, right, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Okay. Okay, okay. We've got the element of surprise. Let's come up with a plan. I'm thinking of a little bit of... And then... We go in with the, and then you do the. All oh, right, the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds. That sounds pretty. Good. Peanut butter, peanut butter. What are you people saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. 